Rock Environmental Center has created a wonderful new opportunity addition to the Hampton Roads Education Program. Uh, the program consists of the Bay Foundation's education vessel, the Jenny S, that we do environmental education field trips on the Lynn Haven River in Chesapeake Bay. And with the addition of the Brock Environmental Center, we can add a new dimension to the program, a new opportunity for students and teachers and citizens to learn about green building, sustainable building, and all of the different impacts that a center like this can make. We've incorporated a lot of uh, environmentally friendly building practices. Our potties don't use any water. They're composting toilets. Well, it's enhanced what we are studying in the classroom. We're studying sustainability. So this is a prime example of sustainability in balance. In the classroom, you know, we're pretty limited. So hands-on here at the Brock Center has allowed the students um, to putting in the practice all those things we talked about in the classroom, we can actually see them in practice here, uh, like the Clivus, like uh, recycling materials. I'm hoping to learn more about the Chesapeake Bay and the Broad Bay areas where we're going. We're going to spend the entire day on different portions of Lynn Haven River, learning about the health, the water quality uh, of the Chesapeake Bay through a variety of hands-on activities, uh, such as water quality testing, uh, we'll trawl for fish, and learn, most importantly, what the students and teachers can do in their everyday lives to improve the health of the Lynn Haven River and the Chesapeake Bay. It's better well, it's better to actually see it, like be able to see it, that rather than just read about it. We've um, kind of been learning about sustainability and um, plants and animals, um, the Six Kingdoms and stuff like that in the classroom. So um, uh, I've been looking forward to coming here to kind of uh, see all of the plant and animal life and um, just have a great time. The students that brought their journals, so they were noting uh, sustainability efforts, uh, things that they saw the, in the environment or the economy or um, maybe people interacting with the environment and making note of that. Also, we're also studying plant and animal kingdom, so that helped as well. But they could see actually differences, like if there was a yard that was very green and one that wasn't so green, they could talk about what what was that due to? Is that from first fertilizer? Is that necessary? Is that something that maybe we could be smarter in our choices for? So they just noted lots of things that we're actually going to take back to the classroom and share with other students so we can look at how our effort for sustainability can improve and how we can help the community better. It's a huge benefit uh, to the Bay Foundation and all of us here at the Brock Center uh, the support from the Hanford Roads Community Foundation to be able to uh, educate even more students and teachers and citizens uh, not only about the, the Chesapeake Bay and the Lindham River but about sustainable building, green building, things of that nature.